There are a couple sets in Diablo 2 that behave somewhat uniquely, such as Trangul's turning you into a vampire or Nat's set turning you translucent. But did you know that one of the lowly starter sets has some unique traits that, unless you use it regularly, you're unlikely to notice? That is Sivverb's Vestments, an okay level 9 set that is decent enough for low level play through normal, but that functions a bit differently than other sets. Now, this difference isn't apparent whenever you're just looking at the set as a whole, because as you can tell, it just packs some undead damage boost, some resist, and a pinch of strength. Nothing too crazy, but with how few slots it takes, it can easily be paired with plenty of other options to round out the gaps you need, especially since the slots it takes are only mildly competitive at low levels. Starting with the individual parts, let's get the normal stuff out of the way first. Starting with the Cudgel, which while it doesn't pack any partial set bonus itself, it does have a bit of attack rating and damage scaling that can keep it relevant for the most part in normal. Though with a lack of percent scaling or anything like Deadly Strike, you generally won't see it much beyond that because it just doesn't scale as well as the other options. For the amulet, we see something again fairly standard to set items, with natural stats for replenish life and mana regen tied with a boost for cold resist at two parts and a flat defense boost with the full set, making it a little helpful for keeping you alive and kicking for a while, but not necessarily being the cornerstone of any real build you're going for. The part where it gets abnormal is on the shield, which while looking at it here, it seems fairly normal, with some defense and block on a set shield, as well as the two green bonuses from the rest of the set though how these function is distinctly unique for Sivirbs. First is something really minor, in that these are only variable green bonuses and are hidden traits of the shield that can vary slightly in the amount of mana and poison resist it can provide, but it's only a minor difference that you wouldn't notice unless you had several of these next to each other. Though what's really interesting, and something that I wish more sets leaned into for flavor purposes or even future balance passes, is item-specific partial set bonuses. That's right, neither of these is tied to the number of items you use, but rather the base item you use it with. With Sivirb's Cudgel providing the poison resist, and Sivirb's Icon, the amulet, providing the extra mana. And hopefully video me and editing me are showing this off right now in a way that makes sense. Now I do wish more sets did this second thing, even with the gold partial bonuses, but I do understand including it is a way of tweaking the balance and utility of various side items that could be quite a bit to do as far as coding and adjustments to item balances, along with some of my other set improvement suggestions that would be equally as complicated. So I'm not sure if we'll ever see that aspect of item design fully taken advantage of, but it is in the code and is able to be acted upon. As far as the upgrading of Sivirbs, don't bother. The Cudgel can do okay in Nightmare if you upgrade it, but chances are by then you'll get a better weapon, such as a rare or unique, or even use a rune word since there are several really solid, cheap Nightmare rune words, especially among the one-handed ones. And since the shield does not get a percent boost and the amulet can't be upgraded, this will pretty much be guaranteed to stay normal item set with only minimal flexibility as you move up. Overall, I like this set as just something simple to slap enemies around with at low levels in normal. It won't win any endgame awards, but it is one that I do like keeping stashed around for pairing with a plethora of other green items in the game for fun early game transitions. So do you like Sivirbs, and do you think they should allow more sets to have specific pairing bonuses, rather than just bonuses based on the raw number of parts you have equipped? Mention it down below, and a special thanks to the channel members, patrons, and subscribers that make all of this possible.